Placing the hardware configuration online gives you a nice graphical view of the system and helps to identify where problems exist. Click the online button. There's a fault mark on the CPU and on the interface module IM151-1 of the ET200S family. While online, double click the CPU to open the module information tool. Then click on the diagnostic buffer tab. The CPU's diagnostic buffer is a good first place to look when faults occur. Sometimes you will find all the information you need there, other times you'll have to look further. In this case, the information is not helpful. Close the CPU's module information tool. Making sure you're still online, double click the IM151-1 to open its module information tool. The general tab says the interface module is okay, but there is an external error. Click the DP Slave Diagnostics tab. Here there is slave specific diagnostic data. In particular, slot 5 is faulty. Now it's time to have a look at the physical station and see what's wrong. After inspection, it turns out that the submodule had been hit with an object and broken. The wiring terminal module, interestingly, was not damaged. A new submodule was plugged in and the problem fixed. To update the hardware configuration view, press the F5 key. This concludes the video on troubleshooting a signal module failure on the ET200S system.